Parker broke onto the music scene at the age of 13, singing her smash hit, Delta Dawn, and went on to sign the biggest record contract in country music history. She grew up to be the bad girl of country music. Still, fans couldn't get enough. 40 albums, 29 top 10, the nine number one hits, a country music legend, and mom. Mama. a single mom. Layla says hi. Hi. I think it's hard for any mother to juggle the career and the kids. Uh, uh. She could have had nannies. I didn't say you were wrong all the time. You're dead wrong now. She could have sent them to boarding school. <laughs> and some days... Well, I'm upset because this is supposed to be just us. She wishes there were two of her. Be quiet! Just your average single mom. Did you get my gun out of the car? <laughs> With three well-adjusted kids. Always trust your mother. Welcome to Tuckerville. Number one, always number one. Being a single mom could be difficult. I'm doing the best I can here. As hard as it is, I wouldn't have it any other way. I've been smoking since I can't even remember when. Country girl. <coughs> it's always a good time for a cigarette. <laughs> I know I really should quit, but I just can't imagine my life as a non-smoker. Mornings in Tuckerville tend to start quiet and late. But today, Tanya's youngest daughter, Layla, is up and at them, working on a masterpiece. And this one has a message. When my mom smokes, sometimes it makes me cough. I talked to my mom about smoking, but she wouldn't stop. I hope this works. Dear mom, I love you, and please don't smoke, because you can die. Thank you, Mom. Love, Layla. Oh, God. I think I started smoking in Vegas. Gambling and drinking, and I think smoking just goes right hand in hand with it, you know? Um, about when I was 21, 22, just a few short years ago. <laughs> yeah, it really gets to my heart when Layla, when she's so sincere and out fresh. You know, Mommy, why do you smoke? And then I tell her that I'm going to quit. I'm, I'm working on it, and uh, I'm going to try. Layla, come in. What are you doing? So, you're worried about mommy, huh? Yeah. Somebody like that. I love you so much. Do you know that? you know how much I love you? Yes, you do. You try to stop smoking. I will try. Layla's concern about my smoking is uh, uh, makes me have more desire to uh, try to stop. But I guess ultimately, uh, you gotta do it for yourself. Deal. Tanya takes Layla's concerns to heart. That night, Tanya goes out on a mission with Presley. I'm gonna try to get some stuff to put these. The smell of it, I don't really like at all. <laughs> Clothes stink and you stink. Hi. Do you have a um, stop smoking package? <laughs> stop smoking package. Stopping smoking is probably the, one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced. I probably could go out and get in the ring with uh, Rocky Marciano and, and, and probably have a better chance of whipping him than I have at whipping this habit. Let me have one of each. Like a lozenge and a patch and a gum. Now, here, open those up. 
they come in. Come on, y'all. I could suck on this and chew gum, too. I can't do that. I can't want to do that. Really not that bad. <laughs> Don't OD. <laughs> Ew. Now it's not tasting something. <laughs> No time like the present. Uh, she might have gone a little bit overboard with all the gum and patches and stuff, but if one of them works, then great. <laughs> oh, gosh. One of these things got to work. A few hours later, Tanya's ready for a night out. Since Grayson's babysitter, Kurt, is still in jail, Tanya's hired a new guy named Steve. Rundown. I'm going to be leaving for a little bit, okay. out of the house for a while. Uh, I need someone to kind of keep an eye on Grayson and uh, his friend Nelson. Well, I think boys will be boys. And I think Grayson and Nelson are are perfect example of boys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, dang. Please. Call me. If you think it's small, don't worry about it. You know, I just don't want anything to go wrong because it... It'll be completely under control. Okay, well, I'll be gone a little while, but okay. make yourself at home. All right. Okay? The boys are out here somewhere. Okay. So if you can maybe round them up. Okay. Good luck. Sure. Long walk. Right. <laughs> Jenny seems very cool. Right. I think it's going to be a piece of cake babysitting two 14-year-olds. I mean, probably be the easiest job I've ever done. Hey, Fruity, who are you anyway? Grayson. Steve. I don't know him. I'm Nelson. Nelson. Your mom told me she's going to be gone for a while, so she asked me to <laughs> make sure that none of that happens. So just keep you in line. All right, good luck, buddy. <laughs> Come the hell down, all right? Wait. Across town, Tanya takes her friend Nancy and Layla to a Nashville rodeo ground, where she's getting back into one of her favorite pastimes, uh, cattle cutting. Cattle cutting involves a horse, rider, and a herd of cattle. The goal is to cut one calf off from the herd and then score points with the judges by keeping it away from the herd as long as possible, using fancy hoof work. I haven't done this for a few years, and I, I'm kind of nervous. I feel a little nervous. Actually, a lot nervous. Let's go! Let's, let's warm up. The boys and new babysitter Steve play a horse of a different color. This is a high-stakes game. The loser goes in the Tuckerville Pond. To play horse, it goes, if a guy shoots it, and then he makes it, and then you shoot and you miss, you get a letter. Whoever misses enough shots and spells H-O-R-S-E, which is horse, loses. Kurt is really bad at basketball, but Steve is the ultimate low. make a layup. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, okay, you're a you're a hoe. No, you're an eight. Eight. No, you're, you're a, a hoe. You're a hoe. And you're in your hoe too. Yeah. Must be a whore. I did not go. Hey, what's up? Now you're a whore. Yeah. Hey show. Like Steve had H O R S and me and Nelson knew we could get him with the short shots because, I mean, those a lot of times are hard and he didn't look like he'd run that well. I uh, thought he was going to rip his pants or something. They were so tight. If you miss this, you're, you're out. And you have to run one. No. Oh, run one. No. 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 Just like that. Hey! <laughs> you don't need that, hey. No. You are horsey. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
That's two, that's three. I'm not going to the lake, all right? Let's go. Come on, Nelson, we gotta take it. You're not going to the lake. You're on the bar. Oh, yes, you are, man. Oh, yes, you are. Craftsman Power. A spring with more savings. Sears has everything you need for a brand new season. And with 0% financing, it's easy to get started. Spring changes everything. This week only at Sears. What kind of bread you like? Mm. Whole grain. Yes! It doesn't take much to feel really good. <laughs> Just start with this smart step. One of five from the Smart Spot program from PepsiCo. With all the skin creams out there, it takes an expert to choose. My expert choice? Total Effects. Fight seven signs of aging with the number one beauty editor recommended anti-aging cream, Olay Total Effects. Bonjour, Laurence. You. Il n'est plus d'Angel Soft. Nice accent. It's French. So what would the French call a toilet paper that's made just right soft but not too soft? Angel Soft. Comfort where you want it. Wait, oui, wait. Oui. Hey, you're speaking French. No, I really gotta go. <laughs> I have a love-love relationship with food. <laughs> I love dinner out. I love it. Eating out and eating right isn't always easy. Which is why I love the Weight Watchers menu from Applebee's. It's saucy and spicy. Rich. Applebee's and Weight Watchers. It's a win-win. And did I mention dessert? This is love all right. <laughs> At Applebee's, eating right never tasted so good. Tonight, I celebrate my love for you. Life lesson number 20. If you want to get rid of a guy, tell him you love him. Life lessons. Collect them all on DLC. To cut the grass. It's too hot out. I know, right? Sometimes being their best friend isn't being their best friend. Collect this valuable lesson by watching Honey, We're Killing the Kids. Premieres Monday night at 9, only on TLC. Another donut? All right, he's driving, whatever. After Steve's pathetic game of horse, he and the boys head to the dock. Well, our deal was whoever lost the game took a dip in the pond. Woo, it's cold out here. Oh, see this? Your body's gonna be like an ice cream when you come out of there. <laughs> Just run, you gotta run and jump. <sighs> At the end of the day, I was a man of my word, and I was just showing them what it takes to be a man. Even if it meant jumping in a cold ass pond. Right, oh up. my god. Oh. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> no, it's starting right here. <laughs> run as fast as you can. Uh, all right. You lost the bet. It's time to, All right. to do your justice. Do your time. Go big or go home, man. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you guys laughing at? Holy <laughs> shit. Oh. God, I'm freezing. It's cold. Start the truck. <laughs> Rodeo grounds, Tanya takes her turn with the cattle. Now entering the herd, Dr. Bill's own, Tanya Tucker. Let's start off with something slow and easy like the little calf that's just walking around the corner there. Bad boys can turn on a dime. Now come on over here. Sit down. If you get one that runs a lot, that's not the kind you want. You want one that goes back and forth like this because that gives the horse the opportunity to really show out and show his fancy footwork. You're getting it done now. Good job. Now come get you another. I enjoy singing and I enjoy riding a cutting horse. That's probably my two favorite things in the whole world. One more time. Back at Tuckerville, Nelson's been dropped off at home, and Steve and Grayson sit down for some male bonding. Uh, 
You gotta find me some dry clothes. Uh, just stay here. I'll you got right some back. socks? Yeah, I'll be right back. Meanwhile, back in town, the cutting has Tanya tuckered out. I haven't done it in a while. I get very, very... I mean, I can breathe hard, and, and my horse does, too. <laughs> I think I'm tired now. That's a pretty good little first time. When I am riding a horse, I, it's like kind of like gambling. It's like smoking just goes right along with it. It's kind of a natural thing. When I'm done showing a horse, I'll light up one. Just things that you get used to doing. When I saw my mom with another cigarette, it made me really, really, really sad. Layla. Layla. They're a normal American family in all ways but one. A full hour of Little People, Big World is next, followed by Trading Spaces, only on TLC. After a wet and wild night of babysitting, Steve and Grayson finally find some common ground. Who are you listen to? Mostly the old stuff. Well, definitely music is going to be my side to uh, share with him. You know, I have a lot more experience in the music side than I do in sports. This is what I'm cutting right now. It's a hit, man. It's a hit. She's a whiplash long college educated, so refined, sophisticated, got a string of pearls around her, the top down on her red Corvette. She's silky smooth with a velvet hand, but that ain't the way she wants her man. She wants love, love, love. You know what? You did a great job, so just keep the change. Keep sure. Sharing. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. The next day, Grayson checks in to see if his mom is serious about kicking her habit. Hey, babe. What's up? What have you been up to? Not much. Me and those. Just now. Presley told me you got a patch of some nick. So, so did it work? Well, it's, um... It's, I'm still waiting to see if it works. We'll see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think she'll quit anytime soon, but hopefully. Maybe she'll prove me wrong. Like, why do you like this smoke? Why, why is it so good? Well, I don't know. I, I don't really like it. Then why do you do it? I don't know. My body says I need to do it. It's kind of like when you have to go to the bathroom or something, you know? Well, you shouldn't do it. Well, you well duh. Do it. I always want to look my best. I'm right! Oh, God. That's the best present of all. Oh, she's been holding out on us. This is my life in Tuckerville. Join us next Saturday in Tuckerville at 10 on TLC. Since the patch and gum aren't helping her stop smoking, Tanya heads into town to see a hypnotist. Layla and new executive assistant Shauna come along for moral support. When it comes to the human mind, I'm open to thinking that anything's possible. I just hope it works. All right, I'm going to turn the side here. I'm going to get a little relaxed. Let's do our little ritual with our cigarettes. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take the plastic out of the cigarettes. I already got them off. Oh, this plastic. Yeah. Now, 
now you're going to take one cigarette at a time and you're going to crush it up and say, I am a non-smoker. Okay? I'm a non-smoker. Say it with conviction. I'm a non-smoker. I'm a non-smoker. I'm a non-smoker. Non 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 All right. Good job. All right. So put your dominant hand on your belly, not dominant hand on your chest. So you want to take the breath in from the belly first, up through the rib cage, and into the chest. There's a sound that accompanies this. It's called Ujjayi breathing, U-J-J-A-Y-I, from yoga. And it means victorious breath. So I'm going to turn about turn. And I want you to let's try a six count in, six counts out. Pull it from the belly, up into the chest. Five, six, and out. So exhale all the breath again. on you and begin. I'd like for you to get as comfortable as possible. to the hypnotist is a, definitely a, a positive step in the right direction. I don't know what the future holds. I hope it's good. I'm optimistic. I'll see you next time. Well, how do you think it went? I think it might. I mean, I just, I just felt very relaxed. So do you think it's going to work? I think it's going to work. <laughs> I don't think so. I was nervous. Nope. I'm just trying it out. Yes, see, see what it's like. Well, I don't know if it tastes very good. Well, maybe that's what he put in your head. <laughs> no, I'm not smoking it. I'm just holding it. See what, <laughs> see what it feels like. She's just keeping her fingers company. Hey, back. <laughs> My name is... Mar Tanya Tucker broke onto the music scene at the age of 13. 